The franchise hot seat is for information and entertainment purposes and is not an offer to sell franchises. If the hot seat introduces you to a franchise concept that interests you, you must do your own due diligence before making an investment. Welcome to the Franchise Hot Seat. I'm your host, John Hayes, director of the Franchise Center at Palm Beach Atlantic University. On today's episode of the Franchise Hot Seat, we feature a concept to be evaluated by our dream team. Let me introduce you to the dream team for our first presentation. These elite executives are superstars in their industries and in franchising. CEO of United Franchise Group, Ray Titus. Co-founder of Crank Enterprises, a venture marketing company, Brian Margolis. Most recently, the president of Molly Maid, Mary Kay Liston. And president of franchise operations for Fran Connect, Keith Gerson. First up in the hot seat is founder of Class 101, Tom Pavin. Hi, welcome everybody. My name's Tom Pavin and I'm the founder and president of Class 101. And with this Class 101, what do we do? We do college planning. So for us, it really started 24 years ago. Um, I was a youth minister at my church and a stockbroker throughout the week. And I couldn't wait to get to the weekend um, to work with students. And it was there that um, a mom approached me, a single mom that needed help with their daughter. She was looking for a mentor, somebody to help her daughter, somebody to communicate with her daughter. Um, And so that just goes to show you, I didn't find college planning, college planning, really found me. Um, It was within that that I found my calling, and that was to serve and to make a difference in a young person's life. Now, 23 years later, we have over 100 college planners. We have 47 locations. We're in 23 different states. And with all those, we've helped 6,500 students go to colleges around the world, 550 different ones, and that have received 482 million dollars in merit-based scholarships alone. So for us, college planning is, is, is kind of like hiring your tax guy, right? You hire them because you want to make sure it's done right. You're nervous about um, uh, getting savings and am I doing it right and can I do it proactively? And so that's what we do. We, our mission really is to empower students and we serve families and then we inspire that greatness um, in those young people. So if you're a couple with a high schooler or two going through the process and you're thinking about what it was, right, 20, 25, 30 years ago, um, it's so much different now, right? Because kids apply to five to 10 colleges and there's 10, 20 different deadlines and there's essays and college visits and and people are so busy. So what we realized is that this was a multi-year complex process. So knowing that early engagement is the game changer. Um, We started working with students earlier as ninth graders and 10th graders, 11th grade, right? Earlier in the process, because what used to be the senior year is now the junior year. Um, And so we really did one thing, um, and that was we made college planning simple. Simple, right? And so we can take it over and have a comprehensive roadmap. And so we connect the dots for the parents, right? We help them with the GPAs and we help them with the ACT and the SAT courses and the stuff that we're able to deliver with our own materials. And so we're able to help them with their resumes and planning for college and and the essays and essay workshops and, and applying early so a student can enjoy their senior year. And so you do all that, right? You visit 10 colleges, we help them to apply to seven, right? And we help them to love five. And you do all of that in a, in a couple year process, right? While they're doing all of their social life and their sports and their activities and mom and dads are busy. So we help out with that communication also. Our market share is huge, right? There's 26,500 high schools across the country. With our 47 locations, we cover 400 of those. So that's why we know um, that uh, 500 locations is an easy number for us to be able to hit um, as our first goal. What we seek from the franchise hot seat, what we're excited about is really three things. Um, Number one is we're excited for mentorship. We're in 23 states. 
but we want to be in 50. Um, and so we really, just like with, we talked about earlier with High Point University, um, uh, I have mentors there. Believing in mentors is a big part of, uh, has always been a big part of my mantra. Um, number two is capitalization, right? Some extra capital always helps. Um, we've sold 10, 12 franchises the last four years, but we want to take that to another level and be able to sell 25 or 30 or 40 in a single year. So we're, uh, we're selling a small portion of our company, a 10% stake for $150,000 um, for investment in our company. And the third thing is we've never had a national franchise launch program as far as to uh, award franchises. We've done them in different regions in the West Coast and the South. Um, so for us, that's the third thing that we seek. It's ROI, of course, we're in business. But for here, we are literally the number one company in the country for ROEI, for that return on emotional investment. And for you guys as our industry leaders, right? This is about being able to capture a category, right? Own, be the Kleenex, right? We're class 101, we are the college planners across the country. So we know about ROI, we know for our people involved in class 101, the ROEI, and we know for the people involved in the leadership of our company um, and for our mentors, um, it's about owning the category. Um, so we're excited to present uh, Class 101 to the hot seat today. Hey, Tom. Uh, first off, I, I definitely want to applaud you for the impact that you've had on, on so many students already. Uh, I love the marketplace that you're in. Uh, it obviously continues to rise. It's recurring. Um, overall, Class 101 has very strong potential. Uh, but it does feel like it's a little too traditional for me. Um, part of it is the ability to refresh your brand, roll it out on a national level, and really get to understand and, and put the Class 101 brand in a position where you're going to have kind of a digital presence across the country. I'm kind of curious to know what you're doing uh, currently to stay relevant in the digital world we live in. Yeah, it started with the development of our marketing um, department, uh, a national head. Um, so we're in a transition from uh, the 40, 50 year old generations to uh, now more of a digital age uh, for younger generation. So that department has taken that lead and is now um, having the images and having the digital assets available for our owners to be able to use those um, in 2021. What I've seen in franchising over 35 years of building different brands is you've got uh, a, a challenge in front of you. You've got to service and, and, and help build these franchisees because more than half your franchise owners are less than three years in business. And right. on the other side, we've got to sell a franchise and build that brand countrywide and even out of the country if possible. So you've got a balancing act here that we've done many, many times here at UFG. And uh, I, I see a, a good, really strong niche market here, Tom. And, and from our end, um, we are open to continuing the conversation after the fact, but I, I really think you need to drive the sales uh, of franchises because you've got to build and grow a nationwide brand. And that's the way you're going to do it is getting more franchise owners out there and obviously working with them at the same time, Tom. So it's a, it's a balancing act that I see. Yeah, exactly. So we have um, the development of that department in 2021 um, and we're a passion play, right? People that do our business are passionate about helping teenagers. And so that market, because there's no, no other franchise out there, makes us pretty special that we get to work with teenagers. Tom, I want to uh, echo the sentiments of some of the others. I think you've got a great, uh, great concept and a great space, but COVID-19 has created a year of firsts. Right. First and foremost, um, I'd be concerned about protecting revenue streams. Uh, I know that over the summer, over 400 colleges and universities suspended ACTs and SATs. Um, I imagine there was a revenue stream there, but how do you uh, really focus on protecting your revenues and helping to concentrate on franchisees that are below break even in helping them to grow their unit level record. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, it's technology for us. So two years ago, we started that process. So we were fortunate to have a lot of stuff even before COVID came into play. So for us being that we're cloud-based has been a huge, um, a huge plus for us. Um, it's a lemon into lemonade, 
right? And so now parents are even more confused, right? They get no help from their high school counselor because they're at home. Um, and so we've taken that and had two out of our best four months um, in, the, in the last four months. So it's, it's been wonderful. Tom, when I look at your item 19, it appears that some of your franchise owners are treating this as a part-time gig. Right. And I heard you say earlier that it is a, a regular monthly cadence to meeting with these students. What can you do? What can you think about doing to help your owners, your franchise owners, ramp up more quickly? We started a 90-day program. Uh, we didn't have that in the past, but now we do. It's a 90-day launch program. And so that's really helps be able to support. So they come in for one week of training um, and then over 90 days. Um, and then also our franchise advisory board has started a mentoring ship program. Um, so we have multiple ways of being able to help support a newer, um, um, a newer franchise. And then also the expectations, here's what they are. Um, and making sure somebody does start full time from the beginning because of their momentum. Yeah, I'd love to work with you on that. Yeah, thank you. So Tom, uh, it sounds like we just need to apply a little uh, brand 101 to class 101 and the sky's the limit. Um, you know, from social media uh, to website development to email marketing, uh, you know, rolling out a, a national campaign and certainly launching a franchise is what, what we do and what we know best. Uh, I understand you're seeking financial infusion. Um, you certainly have my interest and uh, we will be in touch for sure. Uh, all right, Dream Team, uh, it's time to wrap up. Uh, Tom, we'd like to thank you for joining us today and we wish you and Class 101 much success. Thank you. It's been fun to be on the hot seat. Thank you. Thanks for joining us for the Franchise Hot Seat. And remember, our purpose is to inform and educate. We are not selling franchises. Do your homework before investing in any business. Franchising is a powerful methodology for business ownership, and it may be the best way for you to own a business and build personal wealth. But franchising is not without risks, and it's not for everyone. Some quick thank yous to our sponsors. Since its founding in 1999 by IFA Hall of Fame honoree Tariq Fareed, Edible has been at the forefront of supporting franchising and entrepreneurship as a path to the American dream. Support your local edible franchise outlets. Transworld Business Advisors is the world leader in the marketing and sales of businesses, franchises, and mergers and acquisitions. They've got 240 offices worldwide. Accurate Franchising is a full service franchise consulting and development company that assist brands with developing franchise business models, along with assisting existing franchisors brand expansion through franchise sales services. Crank Enterprises is a venture marketing company introducing a modern day twist to private equity. Their mission, turn ideas into dough. You wanna sit in the hot seat or have you got a question for us? Visit TitusCenterForFranchising.com and let us hear from you. I'm John Hayes, leading the Titus Center for Franchising, where we're educating the next franchise generation.